Welcome to sea. Sure. I'm a mermaid. I'm feeling fish finger. I live here under the Airskin Bridge and tomorrow it's my birthday. Later we're going to play Trash or Treasure but first we're off, off to Fox Bar to visit my friend Lucy. I can smell fish. Hi guys. I'm Lucy and I'm just looking at my brilliant book I got out of Glenburn Library. It's called Seesaw. Look at it! It's got the most amazing shelves. Wow! Look at the patterns and the colours. Oh, I love them so much. <sighs> Makes me wish I could go to the sea. Mm. I know. I'm going to send my book to my mummy. Mum! Oh, what is it, Lucy? Oh! <gasps> Ooh! I wanted to show you my library book called Seashore. Oh, Seashore, eh? Oh, look, what lovely patterns on that crab. Oh, uh, I miss going to the beach. Oh. oh. Well, let's do a seaside printed pattern, Lucy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but we don't have the right things. Oh, just go and have a look around the house for things we don't use. I tell you what, go beach combing indoors. <laughs> Yay, kitchen combing. <laughs> OK, Lucy, off you go. Good luck. Oh, funny little thing. Ooh. 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 Mum! I found some things! Ooh. Oh, OK, Lucy. Bring them up here then. Let me see. Ooh, look at that. I found some things. I found um, uh, some pizza bases. Pizza base? That's perfect, that is. Oh, hang on a minute. Why is it all cut up into bits? Well, it couldn't go in the recycling, so because I, I tried to make an igloo for my penguin. Oh, well, for that, that chap there. Yes, isn't he lovely? Yes, he's perfect. Right, here we go. Printmaking. Ho, <laughs> ho. Come on then, Lucy, off we go. Now we are going to paint a relief printed pattern. Now for this, you're going to be using a polystyrene tile from a pizza box. Mine are all in bits, as you can see. You need a pair of scissors some double-sided tape or glue, a cardboard square, a pencil and paper, and some ready-mixed paint, any colour you like. Two colours will do. Right, let's begin. Now, the first thing you need to do is make a seaside-inspired design. So I've drawn a shell and a boat, and I've included lots of different marks, like dots, and lines and hatching because that will make the print much better. So now we have to put this design onto our polystyrene tile and all you need for that is a pencil. When you draw your design on your tile you want to press into the tile but not so badly that you rip your tile. You need to just make an indentation and when you run your finger over, you can feel there's a groove, you see, that you've put in. I'm gonna put in a sh little pearl in the middle of my shell. When you've done your design, cut it out and it looks like this. Now, you need to stick this onto the middle of your card and then we're going to fit our other design around this one and I'm going to show you how. So our second design is a bit smaller than this one because there's not much room left on our tile. So let me show you what we do. My second design is a little boat. As you can see, it's got two sails 
like that and the base of the boat. So what you need to do to fit it onto this square tile here is you want to put it in the middle of a piece of paper. You've marked A, B, C and D. You can see that my boat has been cut into quarters and then what you're going to do is you're going to move tile A down to D in the far corner. Tile D goes to the corner of A, tile C goes to the corner of B and tile B goes to the corner of C. So now you can see your right angles are lined up at the corners and that's where you're going to stick your designs in these corners and then when you print it it'll reappear like magic. So here you go, you stick them all down and you end up with a tile like this. Now we're going to do our printing now so I'm going to get some gloves on so I don't get too mucky. So you need your piece of paper to print onto and I've marked out lightly some squares that are the same size as my tile. So for my shell I've chosen a nice blue colour. Now this is just ready mixed paints. You want to put them on not too heavily. Now that's a bit thick on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bit of scrap paper and lift some of that off. You can see the print would have been too heavy. That's okay, this is all trial and error. So now instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to just remove the excess paint on my little plate there. By the way, these are old plates that I can easily wash, so don't worry. And then I'm going to just reapply that paint now a bit more lightly. And I can do a second test before I move on. So here we go. Let's do a second test, make sure it's not too heavy again. Now ah, that's more detail coming through, you see? So that's what you want to do, is not too thick and not too thin, just a little film of paint over the whole of your of your tile there. So I'm doing the middle blue and I'm going to use this lovely orange colour for my boat. Press it down. And keep going. design. Shells and boats, some of them are more blobby than others, but that's okay. Practice makes perfect. I liked your boat, Mum. I did seaweed and I did a fell and one with two cells and some yellow circles like fun finds. Oh, Lucy, this is lovely. Look at the seaside colours you've chosen. They really look like wrapping paper, don't they, Mum? Yes, they really do. <gasps> There's an idea. I know. Please may I wrap up some sea salt chocolate for Fiona's birthday? Oh, that's a lovely idea. OK, you go and get your skateboard and your dark can take you to the post box. Hooray! See you in a minute, Lucy. Oh. OK. Well, I hope you enjoyed the printing too. Now, we're nearly at the end of our first episode, Pattern. 
And now we're going to play Trash or Treasure with Fiona Fishfinger on Skype. Wish me luck. Lucy, you back yet? Yes, Mum. Time for Trash or Treasure. I love Twaff and Twether. Now here at the Airskin Bridge, all sorts of thing gets washed up. I collect them. It's called beach combing, and des- and decide what's trash or treasure. So let's play. Oh hi Fiona, I'm really excited about playing Twaff or Twether. Treasure gets kept, trash gets oh, recycled. Okay. First up, this. Um. It's a dried up ball of fish eggs. Mm, a ball of fish eggs. Um, is it twaff? No use to anyone. It's treasure. These were used oh. by sailors and pirates Mom, it's not as a sponge when they had a wash. So they're useful. Oh, I... So they're treasure. Also, they don't cause trouble for sea life because they break down naturally. Oh, I know the word you want. It's um biodegrade. Biodegrade, yes. Right, I've got one thing that's silver and shiny, oh, one, okay. the other one smells of salt. Which one is treasure? Oh, um, um... Um, Lucy, I think that might be the silver one, because it might be a 50 pence piece. Oh, Mum. Um, OK, I think that it's Twether, the one that smells of salt is Twether, because it might be a cell and I love shells. Oh. You're right, Lucy. The one that smells of salt is some seaweed. You can put it in your bath to make your skin feel nice. The crisp bag is trash. You must always take litter home and leave our beaches clean. No, we always take our litter home. Hang on. The postman's coming. Oh, hang on. He's got a present for my birthday. I've got to go. Bye. Oh, wow. It might be the present from us. Oh, I hope he likes it. Fiona, come back and show us your present. Oh, wow. Oh, I love playing Twaffle Twether. Wow, I had such a lovely day today. I really enjoyed making a print. And, oh, I don't know if Fiona Fistfinger liked my present I sent her very much because she sent it back. But wait a minute, it's a different shape. <gasps> She's used my paper to send me a present. <gasps> I better have a look and see what it is. Woohoo! I better open it. <gasps> wow! It's a real live sea cell. I'll be able to use it to listen to the sea. I'm here at the art centre to to see a show for my birthday. I love my salt flavoured chocolate. Lucy loves the sea, so I sent her a shelf so she can hear it again. See you next time. You can send your pictures to Paisley Art Centre. <laughs>